Hi, I am Shayak, Shayak Rai Chaudhary. I am handling uh, Nikon India technical team. So I manage uh, the technical aspect of the products, help out the sales and marketing team and uh, whatever technical assistance I can provide to them regarding products. So right now with me is the uh, latest addition to the Nikon DSLR family. This is the much anticipated, uh, much spoken about D7100, D7100. First of all, uh, let me clarify, this is not an upgrade to the D7000. D7000 remains, retains its position in the lineup. This is an addition to the lineup. This is a high-end DX format camera, that is the 1.5x uh, crop format. Now, talking about this product, firstly, first thing that comes to our mind is the totally new sensor design. This particular sensor is a, it's a high-resolution 24.1 megapixel uh, sensor, DX format sensor. But Nikon has uh, removed the OLPF, that is the optical low pass filter from this sensor. The main reason for this is we wanted to achieve higher quality details in the image. So this sensor will give you very high resolution images and also retain very high degree of details and sharpness in the image. The OLPF is normally used to cut down on wire and uh, false color. But with the X-Speed processor, XP3 processor, the latest generation processor in this camera. We have pretty much eradicated the need for all this. Okay. But yes, uh, there are some situations where you just you can take some precautions like changing angles or controlling lights and all, where you can easily remove the effects of wire and false color. Mm -hmm. So the main emphasis of this camera and uh, removing the oil paint is to get more details and sharpness using the core lenses. So. Of course, this is suited for all kinds of photography, but specifically speaking, this is a great uh, benefit for landscape photography photographers because of the enhanced resolution and sharpness. Talking about the body, it's a very robust body and it is slightly more compact and lightweight than predecessors of the same range. It has magnesium alloy casing on top and rear panel, so it's pretty tough uh, body, very nice to hold, firm grip you can get uh, on this. People with large hands also will prefer the grip and feel of this camera. Now, talking Are there any about changes on the top as compared to the D7000? Uh, nothing much. It retains uh, pretty much the same layout. Okay. Uh, this is the top panel. It has all the information. At the rear panel, you can get the info uh, display like this. The display size is the same as the D7000 or is it... Uh, uh, this is slightly is larger. This is a 3.2 inch okay. display. Okay. So, which is the standard right now we are maintaining for 800 and D4 right, cameras. Right. And could you just show the focus points on that, on the display? It has 51 fo focus yeah. points, right? Talking about the focus points, it has a 51 point AF module, similar to the D4. And you can see here, we can easily select the 51 points okay. on the screen. And like the... And the uh, cross type are 15. Yeah, cross type sensors are 15 right at the middle. Okay. It can support uh, apertures up to f8. So that means you can mount an f4 lens with a teleconverter, 2x teleconverter, still get autofocus okay. support. So autofocus is much more fine tuned, much more refined in this camera. One new feature that uh, we can talk about is uh, spot white balance, spot preset white balance. Okay. Wherein you can, if you go to live view, you can select white balance into a particular, you can see here, if I press white balance, I can quickly go to preset and I can select a particular area from where this white balance will be selected. So this is the area which I want to select white balance for, it will select only this area. Okay. So this is very useful for people shooting in constantly changing light conditions. Okay. And what is the pricing for this? Yeah, presently the body will cost you uh, 79,450 okay. rupees. And there are two versions of kit lenses available. One is the 18105 kit lens. Okay. So this particular kit and body come, uh, comes at 94,950. Okay. And this lens 1685, this is a high end, <laughs> high quality DX format short zoom lens. Okay. This particular combination will cost 1,12,950. Okay. And uh, I heard something called uh, the, the crop factor that you spoke about, so could you just show that? Yes. Uh, one new feature in this uh, body is there's a crop factor, like if you go to the shooting menu and you select image area, 
here you have two image areas like we have in fx bodies one bx and one fx image area here also you can select a 1.3x crop yes. so the benefit of this crop is the image sensor size becomes 18 by 12 mm but it retains 8 15 megapixels approximately 15 megapixels of resolution and also it gives you further zoom effect you get a better you can crop view, more yeah, you get a crop view so okay. it's very useful for wildlife shooters like bird okay. photographers and all so effectively okay, okay. you are getting uh, 2x crop over the 35mm full FX format right, right. so that's uh, very useful so if you are using this particular crop in that case if you are using a 7300 lens so effectively you get a magnification equivalent to 140 to 600 mm which okay. is very useful for hobbyist uh, bird photographers and even for video shooting yeah, even for video shooting you can select a 1.3x uh, crop Using this crop, you can go, uh, you can shoot at full HD with 60i. 60i. Yeah. Okay. Normally, by default, it is 30p, or you can select from 25 fps uh, or 24 fps also. But uh, with this crop mode, you can go up to 50i and 60i. Okay. So the full HD video capabilities are also much more enhanced. It has full-time autofocus support during video. Right. And uh, of course the. Build and shoots 24, 25, 30, 60. Yeah. You can so see here. If I go to the movie settings you can select from okay. 30p so there's 30 yeah there's these will be enabled if we select the crop mode okay so, so 35 so and 60 are enabled if you enable the crop mode yes, but yes, otherwise yes. you have uh, 1080 30p yeah. 25p 24p yeah. okay this is at full hd if you right. scale down to hd it supports 60p and 50p okay okay of course, it has uh, microphone con sensitivity control, as you can see. Right. Microphone, uh, this is a built-in microphone. It's also compatible with external. You can add external mic? Yeah, you can add external. Uh, the Nikon's ME1 can fit here. Okay. So, that is a, a proprietary uh, microphone. Right. So, you can do very high-quality videos with this. Uh -huh. So, you can see here, this yeah, is the, the microphone. Different. So, this is a USB port yeah. connector. And, um, no. So this is a microphone inlet. Okay. This is the accessories inlet. Right. You can uh, use the USB interface and all. Uh -huh. This is HDMI, HDMI output, so okay. it supports HDMI outputs as well. Okay. This is for attaching GPS devices, and this is for okay. attaching. So it doesn't have onboard GPS. No, it doesn't have okay. inbuilt okay. GPS, but it supports all the external GPS, GPS devices. Okay. okay. And uh, what cards does it support? Uh, SD card or compact flash? If you open the card compartment, it's, it's yeah. a dual SD. Yeah. Okay. It supports uh, two SD cards and of course it supports the latest uh, in SD card technology, it uh -huh. supports uh, all the fastest SD, SD cards okay. and up to 128 GB whatever is available right, right now. Okay. So you can use uh, two SD cards simultaneously. Okay. Apart from that uh, it has two user control modes wherein you can set two user defined settings whatever is uh, mostly used by you and you can just set it here so you don't need to go to menu every now and then right. one very interesting feature is that although being a very high-end camera with uh, features uh, taken from cameras like the d4 and d800 right. it still retains some of the features of the entry-level bodies like you can see the effects mode here right. this is very useful for beginners or hobbyists who have not uh, done a great deal of photography so you can if i go to live view i can simply switch on the modes here and you can okay. very easily do special effect photography you can see this is silhouette this right. is selective color and uh -huh. this is color sketch so you can see the different effects on this okay so this is a very interesting feature to have on this kind of a high-end body okay. so pretty much anybody can use this from uh, hobbyists to serious amateurs okay. even professionals and also first-time users okay. so this will support a great deal of uh, photographic needs okay. and i think this camera is going to do very well so when do we see this in the Indian market? This will be available by March end. By March end? Okay. 74,000 is the body price. 74,950. 79,450. 79, okay. Thanks a lot. Thank you.